Hello, my friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the emulator in your Android Studio. I will click on more actions, click on virtual device manager. And here we can create a virtual device. You can either click on this button or click on this blue text. So you want to be a professional Android app developer but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. Click on the create device. If you don't have an Android device on hand, or it doesn't have the right version of Android, you can run the app on a virtual device instead. Running the app on a virtual device is useful. If you want to see how the app looks on a type of device you don't own, or test how it behaves on different versions of Android. The Android SDK feature a build a features a built-in emulator that you can use to set up one or more android virtual devices avds once you've set up an avd you can run the app on it as though it's running on a physical device the avd manager in android studio allows you to set up a new AVD, a new emulator. Okay, so if you have no AVDs set up already, you will be presented by this screen. Okay, if uh, if you have already created a, 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 an emulator, it will be displayed here. But till now, we have no virtual devices. I will click on this button to create an AVD. On, the, uh, on this screen, you will be prompted to choose a device definition. This is the type of device you your AVD will emulate. So you see, guys, these are uh, many phones, many uh, types of phones, uh, and uh, these are product by, uh, produced by Google. You can choose the category TV, phone, Wear OS, tablet, automotive, but we will uh, we uh, we will choose the phone because we because we are interested in phones and tablets. We're gonna uh, see what the app looks like running on uh, Pixel Six. So I'm going to choose uh, Pixel Six. You can choose the Pixel 5, which is 6 inches, or uh, I can choose Nexus 6 because it's similar to my uh, real device. I will click on Next. And here we have to select a system image. You need to select a system image. This specifies which version of Android you want to be on the AVD. You need to choose the, a version of Android that's compatible with the app you're building. It must be at least the minimum SDK that the app supports. But till now, I prefer using the latest versions of Android. So I will click on Android here. Okay. I will click on this and accept the license agreement after the download and install processes finished click on finish and here we are wait for refreshing and then we select this and we are good so we downloaded the api or the uh, system image now we click on next here we need to verify the configurations 
In this screen, you will be asked to verify the configuration. This screen summarizes the options you choose over the last few screens and gives you the option of changing them and accepting the options and clicking on finish button. You can name your AVD na name, your device, whatever you want. You can change the density pixels, um, the, the Nexus 6, which is the, 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 the device. You can change the uh, Android system image. Also, you can uh, see what are and set up the startup orientation, uh, portrait or landscape. Set the initial orientation of the device during uh, the device during the AVD emulation. You can also rotate the device screen. Later on, we'll see it. Also, the emulated performance automatic hardware. We prefer automatic. Also, you can uh, show advanced options. And here, I prefer not to edit them. Okay, so. We will name it as Nexus 6 API 33. Click on finish and congratulations. You have created the first emulator. And now we can run, edit, and see some uh, options like duplicate, wipe data, cold boot now, show on disk, view details, and delete. Later on, we will, uh, we will uh, change some settings uh, for this device, but now we are clear to run it. So I will launch the emulator. And this is the screen waiting for booting. One of the questions that may, uh, in, may be encountered or uh, uh, wondering do I need to create a new AVD edge each time I create a new app? No. Once you've created the AVD, you can use it to run any app that can run that version of Android. Okay, and here we go. Congratulations, guys. We have created our very first emulator 